What's up, game changers? Welcome to the end game. My name is Juniper Blue Mystique. I am an Ascension Master, Master Healer, and Divine Guide. I had my own awakening in 2019, and since I've been bringing about the Ascension, which is the return of Christ. And it did, in fact, unfold through my life, through my Ascension, through my awakening. Now, things from undoing the false veil, clearing all darkness, going in the caves and removing all souls, clearing out so many things, activating pyramids, returning Jesus and Mary Magdalene, undoing the unholy grail. Those are just parts of my journey. But today I want to talk about something very important. This is about symbolism, especially snakes. Okay. So during my journey, I couldn't research th certain things because there was no info anywhere to what was happening and what I was going through. So I had a Kundalini awakening, a very, very powerful one that's not normal by any comparison from anybody I've talked to. It was very powerful. And they represent that with snakes, don't they? Like a snake rising up your spine. Um, when in fact, snakes did come into my journey, and I'm gonna talk about that a little bit. When the Kundalini rose, it had nothing to do with snakes at the time. But during my journey, I had these weird things happening to me and through me. Um, and each part, it was about power, right? Power upgrades, going through different lifetime aspects and taking my power back. That's what each thing was about, right? Um, you might hear my heater, it just kicked on. Sorry about that. So during each part of my journey, I would have a new experience. Like in one of them, I sat on Saturn with Hermes and Rose Atlantis. Um, and then after that, I had this experience where things would, would not feel right and I would try to get healings from others and it wouldn't work. And spirit was literally trying to get me to heal myself. And so I would listen, I would ask for guidance. Um, and you know how in spirituality, symbols rise, right? Symbols represent something. I've had blue jays, crows, snakes. Snakes I couldn't find anything about. There's a lot of information about snakes being negative. Um, and People can throw negative energy your way, and they can use snakes to do so, but what they're doing is taking your power away, okay? Because snakes represent power. It represents power upgrade. And in my videos, when I cleared the Nile, that's all on this channel, I can prove it to you. Um, that was part of the awakening. That was all a process. It happened in one step after another after another, and that's the same thing with taking your power back. Because right now on this planet, it's a power struggle. People are struggling for their power, okay? It's a battle for your soul. It's what it talks about. It's a power struggle. And snakes are very relevant in that. But I would come to certain things in my journey, and I would have to go within and heal myself. Um, and in one of them, I came across a snake. So this happened to me about four times on my journey. I think one was representative for my twin flame. But the rest were mine. So as I was doing things to the earth and meeting my goals and had no idea I was even doing that at the first time, in the first place, it all played out and then it made sense in the end. Or I would be called to go inward and to heal myself. And on one of them, I used actually this crystal right here. It is a howlite crystal. It is a Pleiadian being, okay, a skull, Pleiadian skull energy it had on it. And I was, I was called to purchase this during my journey, so I did. And on this particular instance, I couldn't, I wasn't feeling right. I couldn't get my solar plexus to feel right. And I was trying to get anybody to heal me that could. And their message was always the same, go within, go within. So I did, I asked spirit to show me what to do. And they did, they showed me to pick up this crystal. So I did, I picked up this crystal and I asked for the healing and support. And the next thing I know, I literally saw the energy go within me and go to my solar plexus. Now I've told you about the gates. Revelations is all of what I brought about. There's 12 gates, supposedly, there's actually 13 that you have to rise through, and each one is a trial and tribulation. And in each one, you have to call your power back. You have to, then you get your DNA activations and stuff. So calling your power back is relevant. Snakes are relevant to this, okay? Not everybody's going to have this experience, so I'll tell you that right now. It's for supreme beings, I guess, that do, but they want me to talk about what happened to me because it can make sense, it can help you, it can help direct you in certain ways. So if you see a snake on your path, call your power back, first of all. If somebody's trying to send negativity your way through a snake, call your power back and then block the energy and send it back to where it came from. It's as simple as that, don't be afraid of anything. 
Personally, I don't like snakes in real life, right? But um, in this particular instance, when I had to grab the crystal and go within, I saw the energy enter in and it went straight to my solar plexus. I saw my solar plexus. It was this big, bright yellow disc and I saw it. And this happened about three years ago now. I think in 2021, possibly 2020. <laughs> so many things happened to me on this journey. I was doing things every day for the ascension, to, for the return of Christ. Um, very, very powerful, painful things, moving mountains, clearing the crystalline grid, rebuilding it, replacing all the crystals underneath the pyramids eventually, activating pyramids all over the globe, which I used my light to do. It's not normal. It's not like I just go there and meditate and channel high frequencies. I did it. I changed them. I moved them. I shifted the poles. And so as I was doing these things, it required diligent consistency with me and spirit and uh, my own power. These were stages where I was calling back my power. And I went in and I saw my yellow, yellow solar plexus. It was the most yellow, vibrant space, energy. And then deep within that, I saw a snake. And I was like, oh, and you guys, I felt this like it was like, like pinching yourself. Like it was very, very, very real and very relevant because it, it also helps you describe and understand when I got attacked by fallen angels, how very real it is and how even if it's energetic, like when I was attacked by fallen angels, I started energetically throwing up like the stuffing and then it went to cockroaches. It was horrible. But when I was doing the power upgrading before that happened, <laughs> before I united with my twin flame at this point, I didn't know I was a twin flame yet. I saw that solar plexus and then I saw the snake and the snake was black and red stripes very vibrant, vibrant colors. And in my yellow, and I remember that because a yellow solar plexus and then a black and red snake. At first I was like, oh my gosh, am I being attacked? I thought it was negative. And I tried to do research all over the place and I couldn't find anything about this. This is not normal. This happens for supreme beings only, they said. But snakes are relevant. With Kundalini, they represent through snakes rising. It's power, it's about your power, okay? So if snakes are relevant in your energy, if they're coming towards you, if, if they're there, they can one, represent good luck, they can, but they can also represent the need to take your power back, okay, or a power upgrade occurring at this time, okay? So it's important to know what's going on in your reality to know what you need to do with it. But once I went in my energy and I saw my solar plexus and I saw this snake, I started to like gag, energetically gag, and I'm saying like throw up, like it was horrible. My mouth was watering, I was like Bleh! And all of a sudden I threw up this snake. I literally threw it up. This was the first time it happened. And again, I thought it was negative. I did research, couldn't find anything because it only happens to supreme beings this way. Um, and I actually had three of those. I think four, but one might have been for my twin flame because I got a walk-in, right? The original one died. Um, <clears throat> so there were times in my journey where I would upgrade my power. And each time I did, it was represented by throwing up a snake out of my solar plexus. Now, if you know anything about Sekhmet, when I cleared the Nile, I called my power back from that lifetime. When I was activating the pyramid in Ecuador, all of these are on this channel. You, I prove it to you, you just have to watch it. They told me I was Sekhmet, and then shortly after that, we did the Nile. I had no idea it was coming. Called my power back from that time. And they represent Sekhmet as having the sun above her head with a snake. All of this is relevant for my journey. Everything I've done, I've messed with the sun. I turn it, I draw it down. I like grab trunks and shove it into the earth. I've undone the concepts of the sun and the moon that were false. So all of this is actually very relevant to my journey. And more proof, they're saying, for who I am. But only for those who want to see it, right? Um, because it is a battle for your soul. This is a power struggle right now on the planet. And in these energies, it really truly is a power struggle at this time. Now, Spirit says it's best for you to really, truly watch your power, watch where you give it away. I have a course on that for a reason in the path, um, and then I help you take your power back. So, you know, these things are very relevant, but it's going to continue to be so. Every time the energies rise, if you notice, there was like a school shooting yesterday again. I said the negativity will rise as well, and each time we go through these energy things, these shifts, these, it's about power. All right, you're going to be challenged. You're going to be met with things. You need to see clearly. You need to choose love and you need to call your power back each time. And it can be different every time. Okay, each individual is different. Now, for me, 
it was snakes. I would throw up snakes out of my solar plexus when I was making my journey, when I would choose love, when I would, when I would survive the battle. And like I said, I did it like three times. And then they would give me scrolls too that were relevant for my journey when I would need them. And they would only come out when I met that mark, right? Um, so for instance, I read a scroll, I think when I did the Nile, I read a scroll when we activated Kilimanjaro and cleared the Congo and all of that kind of stuff. Um, when, when I did Kilimanjaro, we burned the White House, and underneath all of that, there were like these entities and beings wearing these black robes with upside down crosses, and I like, guess for real. And I think in those times is when I would call my power back, or I would throw up a snake. It's been a while because I haven't had to. All my power has come back to me from every one of my lifetimes, because that's what this is about. You are literally calling your power back from every lifetime, not just this one. And I talk about that a lot. Okay. So symbols during spirituality are very important. They all mean something. And it, it usually depicts at what part you're on in your journey. Same with spirit animals. Certain ones come at certain times for a reason. But it doesn't, like we can have a main spirit animal. For instance, I have a panther. That's my main one. And she would only accompany me at certain times. Then other times I would have other animals. I've had an elephant, a monkey. You see what I'm saying? So it just, and symbols are also very, very relevant. I've had multiple symbols come up before my Merkaba was activated, and then I would also heal others' Merkabas and activate them. I got the symbol of one, and I didn't know what that meant at the time, and so I had to research that. Then the next thing I knew, I was activating other people's Merkaba, and then I activated the Earth Merkaba, okay? So what I'm telling you is symbols are very relevant. Snakes are very important. Only enlightened beings puke up snakes out of their chakras, which is why is I couldn't find anything on it. But it's not always negative. Snakes are not negative unless somebody's throwing negative at you. Can I use these things against people? I could if I want. It wasn't of the light, right? So there's lots of people who do that. So if you're seeing snakes in your environment, it's either A, representative of you gaining your power back, needing to call your power back, or needing to put up protections and send negativity back to where it came from. When that happened to me, I was like, oh God, I'm being attacked. I'm being attacked because that happened a lot on my journey. And so that was what I was trying to do. And Spirit's like, no, no, nay, nay. <laughs> That's not what this one's about. And I'm like, oh. And then I had like three more after that. So three more power upgrades where I would call my power back, make it through a challenge, open up a portal. I opened up all 13 portals home. That's what I did. I brought about the ascension. So my path is the only true path. That's the path of the ascension of the return of Christ. Okay. So I'm telling you now is like, this is a power struggle. You need to understand symbols. And for some reason, they really wanted me to talk about the snake because this is not something that's well known. Okay. I literally would throw up a snake. And then after that, my awakening went boom and my powers went boom and my healings were like boom off the charts. So, um, <laughs> Spirituality is very real. Energy is very real. That's what we all are. God's not on the outside. He's on the inside. He's in our heart. Our job is to find our way home. Okay, We have to. The end of the world is now in meaning outside of God. Anything outside of God has to go. Okay, So understand power. Understand symbols. This was just the main one I'm going to talk about today, which is a snake. And that's what they wanted me to talk about. But again, I thought it was negative. I thought I was being attacked. I'm like, oh my gosh. What more do I have to do now? Like it was constant. I was being attacked even to this day. Like you guys can see that happen constantly. And, but it used to be worse. They're getting weaker and weaker because they're losing their power. They're being ex really removed from this earth. So I can tell they're getting weaker and weaker. But man, when I was attacked by fallen angels, I ended up energetically having to puke up some stuff and remove all this black tar from all my chakras and they almost killed me. That was when my DM and them were trying to stop the ascension. And literally, they broke my arm. Like, it was horrible. It was physical, but it was also energetic. And at that time, I was puking up that stuffing. It was like Shawshank Redemption kind of stuff. And I had to have one of my alchemy graduates help me. Um, thank God I gave her my light. <laughs> that's what Spirit said, is that's what saved me, was actually starting that academy and telling people how to really heal. Because she was able to help me do that. And when she was helping me remove all this tar from my chakras, like it took everything out of me. My teeth hurt. Everything was gone that was good in my body. Talk about like 
the flu times 10, right? Like it wiped everything out. And I was throwing up energetically, this stuffing and then these cockroaches was horrible. It was disgusting and it hurt so bad. Oh, it was, it was horrible. That took several healings. Okay, so that's a little different. But if snakes become involved, there's something else going on. Okay, so this was a power upgrade. I literally had to, and I had to remove it on my own. Nobody else could. I've tried. And they kept going and telling me to go within, go within. That was their answer every time. So eventually I did. And I threw up this snake. It was red and black striped in my very bright yellow solar plexus. Why solar plexus? That's your power center. Okay. Um, a lot of people don't realize that. You ever heard that saying, like, my gut, trust your gut? Brain health is in the tummy. It's all relevant. Okay. So I had to give this info today. I had to talk about this because it's very important. Some people don't understand what snakes are. Snakes are about power. This is a power struggle. Nobody else should be puking up snakes. I'll tell you that right now. If they say they are, they might be lying. Um, because it is for enlightened beings. And that's what Spirit's telling me. These are for, uh, like, sentient. These are for higher beings. Okay, so that's not common. It's not something that people hear about or experience a lot. But it was, it was still gross. But it wasn't like being attacked. That was painful. But when I threw up that snake, like, it felt like the slithering snake came out of my throat. It was horrible. And then after that, my awakening went tenfold and even more. And my healings became even more powerful. It was one of my very first times of upgrading. It was such a cool experience. Okay? And that's why they show the kundalini rising with a snake. I had a real true kundalini awakening. And I could feel the energy go all the way up into my head. And from that moment forward, my world changed. And that light is what I use to activate pyramids. It's my light. It's your life force. And that is what I literally would use to draw it down and activate pyramids, my light. Okay, and I would shift them and turn them and they would light up on the sides and fill with like language and stuff. And my light. And after that, my heart became enlarged. It was very real. <laughs> very, very real. And I still have scars on my feet from that. Um, we did healings on my heart. It's better. And the doctor verified both. With it being enlarged to now, they're like, I don't know what happened. I'm like, yeah, well, you can't heal it, can you? And they said no. I'm like, well, yeah, I did. <laughs> so know your power. If snakes are involved, you need to question why. Either somebody wants you to have no power and you need to call your power back or there's something going on in your, in your environment that you need to call your power back or you're about to upgrade. Okay? So pay attention to symbols. They're very, very relevant throughout a spiritual awakening. Okay? Very. And they're all individual and they mean something. And another part, I had a blue jay come to me and land on my chest. When I was um, freeing Jesus' soul, no joke, you guys, I had crows following me everywhere I went. People would notice it. Crows were very relevant at certain parts of my journey. And I had some people tell me, oh, they're just birds. Like, you can tell they're definitely not connected. Okay. Animals, um, symbols, they're all relevant. So pay attention to those on your spiritual journey. They can help you in your path to know what to do. So much love to all of you. I hope you have an amazing day. And I will see you on Christmas Eve for some free healings for those that show up. Hasta la vista. Bye-bye.